All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of the brand new Dirt Hog from Team Kyosho. This is part of their Ready Set series, so this is a full ready-to-run vehicle right out of the box. This comes with pretty much everything you need to get you started on day one. So this is a one-tenth scale four-wheel drive buggy. Uh, this thing has some pretty damn good looks, um, some pretty good features, and some great electronics from Team Orion to get you started. Now, um, right here on the front, we're taking a look at uh, some of the, the icons here. Of course, Dirt Hog, that's their new uh, vehicle. Uh, Kyosho, which is pretty much the longest lasting name in radio control. And then um, some of the features over here, uh, Team Orion, of course, uh, has their Vortex waterproof brushed 45 amp ESC, an 1800 milliamp nickel metal hydride, also from Team Orion, and then also some other waterproof features, the servo. Um, it does come with a wall charger and also a 2.4 gigahertz radio system uh, from Team Kyosho. So on the flip side over here, let's take a look at some of the other features. Can I bring this up close to you guys? Uh, pretty much uh, uh, the Orion components are, are awesome. You do get their uh, ESC, like I stated earlier. Um, it is waterproof. You also get a brushed 27-turn motor. Uh, this is a stock motor from Team Kyosho. Uh, you do get their Synchro Servo, also waterproof, so pretty much a waterproof system. Um, you get some oil-filled shocks right here, aluminum caps I'm already seeing, so that's pretty cool. Um, over here on the electronic side, you do get their Synchro KT200 radio, 2.4 gigahertz. You do get their uh, wall charger and also a bunch of adapters here, depending on what country you live in you pretty much are ready to go right out of the box. So uh, pretty nice that they're including all of those different adapters there. So if you happen to take this overseas, you can use your uh, RC, so pretty cool. Let's uh, go ahead and open this thing up. I wanna see what you get inside here because uh, pretty excited that uh, Kyosho has actually released full ready to run vehicles. Now in the past, they really haven't done that. Um, you know, it's been minus the battery or minus the control or, or whatnot. So this thing is pretty much ready to go outside the box. And let's, let's take a look at this thing. Got my handy knife here. Let's get this thing open. So right here, we got the seals here uh, from Kyosho. We're gonna pop those things open. There we go. And I happen to pick up the green version, a uh, really quick model number right there. And I'll have that in the video description, of course, for you guys. Uh, but this is uh, 28500, and uh, the model number is 30993T2. So green version. I believe there's also this kind of grayish uh, black version too. So pretty cool. Let's open this thing up. So immediately inside the box here, you're seeing uh, pretty much everything packed inside there. Really kind of like this thing already. This thing, uh, and, and I, I wish I had smell-o-vision because there's nothing better than a brand new RC car in the studio. Uh, definitely that rubber smell, which I definitely like. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out of the box here. It looks like everything is going to come out pretty easily. And let's grab all of this stuff here. Nice that the Kyosho is just kind of uh, putting it in the box and not zip tying this thing down. So uh, very nice. Grab everything out of here. There we go. Let's get rid of the box. That's going to go in the archives here at the RC Network. And we're going to set this thing off to the side. Let's take a look at some boring stuff first. Of course, the stuff that's not going to be the car, uh, but things that we need to kind of cover. So this is going to be their Synchro KT200 uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio. Great radio. Um, you know, has everything you need in an RTR radio. Love the little shark fin stubby antenna. Nothing to break off. Great feeling uh, uh, foam wheel right there. Great trigger pull, both forward and reverse. Underside here, looks like it takes two or four AA batteries, which actually are not included in this kit, So, but everyone has four AA's. Uh, worst case, go to your TV remote, pull those things out. You don't need to watch TV, you need to RC. <laughs> and then uh, on the upside right here, you have all of your trims and all of your, looks like throttle trim, uh, steering trim, steering dual rate which is nice your endpoint adjustments and then all of your reverses for steering and throttle so nice that that's all there looks like you have a couple other uh, different switches and whatnot on this side and then it looks like a charging device right there if you want to use a rechargeable battery so 
pretty cool. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz. You can't beat that for an RTR. Um, in this box, let's take a look at what comes inside here. This is going to be the wall charger, and what's pretty cool. So it does come with a uh, Tamiya plug and a wall charger. Has a little adapter on there, so you just pop that off. And then you get all the different countries right here. So let's definitely see the Europe one. And I'm not sure of some of these others. The USA one's right there. And who knows what that one is. So, But anyways, should fit uh, pretty much every country out there. Or at least if you live on a normal continent. And right here we have the 1800 milliamp uh, Team Orion. This is their rocket pack. Uh, it comes with a Tamiya plug and pretty much uh, charges thing, you're ready to go. So wall chargers included. And let's see here, we get some owner's manual on the backside. You do get that great uh, wrench right there. I probably have about 20 of these things and I always seem to lose them, but I'm ni nice that they're including that. Little Allen wrench there, you have some shock clips and also some uh, rod ends right there, which is nice. So it looks like some replacement parts right outside of the box. And there we go. So let's set all this stuff aside. Let's take a look at this buggy now. Ah, oh, this thing looks great. Um, you know, definitely designed after a a race uh, buggy. You know, the tenth scale uh, race buggies. You know, the kind of like the RB6, the new laser. Um, you know, definitely has that look to it. But just kind of scaled down to a price that you know almost anyone can afford. This thing's going for uh, right over two hundred bucks and. Once you get to some of the uh, the places online, you're going to get them for about 180, 190 um, out the door. So pretty nice. Uh, it does come with uh, slightly thinner tires in the front, wider in the rear. Very um, tent scale buggy like uh, from some of the race uh, buggies out there, um, but just great overall looks. Has a nice cab forward design here from the uh, shell, uh, which is always nice. Has some air dams right here to control you when you're in flight. A great buggy wing right here that is uh, uh, very kind of flexible and doesn't look like it's going to break or snag or anything. So it's nice that it's, it's flexible here. Um, as far as the suspension right outside the box, God, this thing feels great already. So going to take a look at some of those shock clips and uh, see if I need anything. But overall, this thing just feels great right outside the box. No batteries in it right now, so it does feel just slightly... Uh, under so um but let's go ahead and take some of these clips off i'm going to move some camera angles around so we can see things a little bit closer all right i'm back now and i went ahead and got the body off and wanted to just kind of uh, take a look at everything while off camera and you know gotta say for the the price point this thing is just amazing uh for everything that you get uh, right outside of the box. Um, I mean, all of the technology is, is definitely has trickled down uh, from, of course, the upper end cars. And it's just really nice to see uh, some things in uh, some of the lower end ones for uh, the RTR users. So um, right here, we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the electronics first. Of course, you see that uh, Team Orion uh, Speedo right there. That is a waterproof Speedo, 45 amp. So it does say that it can take uh, 2S LiPo or a 6 to 7 nickel metal hydride uh, battery. So you got the waterproof switch right there that's included right off to the side. A really cool thing here, and I'm going to flip this over, is you actually have a couple of uh, switches or um, they're actually plugs. And what you're able to do is control the LiPo cutoff uh, or, um, you know, you're able to uh, reverse uh, and then also the LiPo cutoff right there by just switching uh, two uh, little plugs here. So nice that you're able to uh, do it without a program card, which is very nice. Uh, you do have a Tamiya plug coming right off, so that is gonna plug straight into the included battery. Um, right here is that 27 turn motor from Team Kyosho. It is waterproof, so you're ready to go, uh, you know, splash in some water and not have any issues whatsoever. I do have all your motor wires right there. Hidden underside here is gonna be that Synchro uh, Kyosho uh, servo, so that thing's kind of hidden underneath that plate right there, which is, is pretty cool as well. Uh, you do have a fully enclosed uh, um, spur and pinion right there, so don't have to worry about any rocks or anything kind of getting in there and, and creating havoc on your gearing, so very nice. Looks like it's pretty simple to remove, just a couple of screws right there and you're able to uh, get in there and check some things out. So as far as the suspension, you do get oil-filled 
plastic bodied shocks. You do need shock clips, which do come with it, and also some extra ones as well. You do get some aluminum shock caps right there, which is very nice, just nice added bling to the car. You do have dog bones running front and rear, um, no CVDs there. You also have adjustable uh, toe in and camber adjustment on the front, and then just the camber adjustment on the rear right there. It uh, looks like you have a, um, a method of just turning it out and re positioning the camber. So uh, pretty nice. The A-arms seem to be very nice and beefy. Um, very just nice design. Uh, nothing, uh, you know, nothing uh, too mind-blowing here, but, you know, a great RTR feature. So on the underside right here is your plastic tubbed chassis. Uh, seems like it'll take a, a very good beating here. This thing's been around for quite some time. I believe on their Phaser series is what this uh, chassis is from. So but uh, very nice. I, I definitely dig the, the block style tires. They seem to have a lot of meat on it. And being that it's a four wheel drive, you also have some great front tires here as well. So uh, very nice design. It is a shaft driven car. So you do have that center shaft uh, going all the way down from the slipper right here all the way back. And uh, you know, nice design. This thing should definitely do well out on the dirt and the pavement and everything else. So. Well, that's my unboxing. I just wanted to show you guys this thing. This is going to be another fun vehicle here at the RC Network. I can't wait to get this thing kind of out there and, and kind of test it out. I have a, a battery charging right now for it. So, um, But all in all, really impressed with this thing. Can't wait to get this thing running. And that's it. Well, if you guys have any questions about this Dirt Hog from Team Kyosho, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.